Ой-ой-ой-ой-ой. Что происходит? As reported, Ukraine attacked the oil depot in Feodosia on the night of October the 7th. The marine oil terminal, the largest in Crimea, in terms of oil products, transshipment volume, came under attack. A strong fire started. Apparently, drones hit the facility in several places as photos with three columns of thick black smoke appeared in social networks. The city authorities introduced a regime of technogenic emergency of a municipal nature, restricting access of people and transport to the affected area. No casualties were reported. Ukrainian media wrote that the facility was attacked by drones and Russian media that there were two missiles. Defense Express expert Valery Ryabik voiced his opinion regarding the events in Feodosia on October the 7th. He does not rule out that Kiev carried out an attack on the oil depot using new weapons. He did not rule out that, most likely, these were medium-range drones, but which can carry an explosive weighing up to 20 kilograms. It is possible that the range of the drones is from 500 to 600 kilometers. Ryabik does not rule out that Kiev used one of the three types of Palyanitsia drone missile in yesterday's operation. It is also possible that the strikes were carried out with long-range missiles supplied to Kiev by the West. We are talking about the British Storm Shadow missiles. The most interesting thing is that the Pantsir air defense system has been installed at the oil depot since the autumn of 2022, but it was unable to intercept all the air targets that attacked the terminal. Meanwhile, the fire at the oil depot in Feodosia has entered its second day. The media reports that five fuel tanks are burning. The occupation authorities have resettled residents of the private sector from the emergency zone. Late yesterday evening, one of the burning fuel tanks exploded. So far, they have not been able to extinguish the oil depot in Crimea in Feodosia, which caught fire on October the 7th as a result of a drone attack. The Russian-appointed mayor of the city, Igor Kachenko, said that work on the elimination of the fire continues and to ensure the safety of people living near the site of the emergency in the area of the Black Sea embankment and near Kamishi evacuation was carried out. In particular, 1,047 people were sent to temporary accommodation centers, hotels and boarding houses. Kachenko added that the evacuees were examined by medics. It is noteworthy that the Pantsir C-1 air defense system was deployed on the territory of the port where the terminal is located. This was found out by Radio Svoboda journalists after analyzing satellite images. However, the unit failed to repel the attack of the Ukrainian drones. The successful strike by the Ukrainian army on the oil depot in Russia-occupied Feodosia, Crimea, is important not just for disrupting the enemy's logistics. This facility was the biggest oil terminal on the peninsula and had been a key supplier for the Russian army. As reported by Defense Express, this attack reveals the ineffectiveness of Russia's air defense systems. According to the publication, Ukrainian strikes on Russian oil depots, refineries, air bases and military warehouses deep in Russia reveal a clear pattern. The deeper into Russia, the weaker the air defense. However, Feodosia and occupied Crimea are known for their high concentration of military and strategic facilities which have always been heavily guarded. Just on the outskirts of Feodosia, a unit of 18th Air Defense Regiment of Russia armed a unit 
of the 18th Air Defense Regiment of Russia armed with S-400 systems were stationed. The oil depot hit by Ukraine was only 6 kilometers away. As of April 2023, the 18th Air Defense Regiment was still there as their operations were recorded during a strike. This was likely carried out by a separate radar unit, Military Unit 66571, which had the Nebo U-T radar deployed. However, this time, the key issue is not just that this Russian surface-to-air missile system failed to perform its duty. Local residents reportedly did not hear any Russian air defense activity at all. This raises two possibilities. Either there are no SAMs in the Feodosia area, indicating that Russia lacks air defense systems, or the Russian anti-aircraft units simply missed the attack. However, the main point now is that the enemy lacks a key facility for fueling its military operations. Defense Express adds, Retired Colonel of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Pilot Instructor Roman Svitan says that the attack on the oil terminal in Feodosia and the explosions in the area of the Saki airfield in the temporarily occupied Crimea are extremely important in the context of Russia's war against Ukraine. He noted that there are two oil terminals in Crimea, in Feodosia and Sevastopol. At the same time, Feodosia Bay is considered ice-free, so an oil terminal was deployed there at one time to supply the peninsula with oil and its refined products. So that was one of the main goals. According to the expert, the strike on the terminal in Feodosia is a necessary measure since there is no other way to reduce the flow of oil products in Crimea. At the same time, it is important to destroy all Russian oil terminals, including Novorossiysk.